as a country, we are experiencing an epidemic. As false claims are being made, as lies are being spread, it is important to remember that sundress season is upon us. As horny levels rise, as adultery increases, every single ass look amazing. It is imperative that I announce to you, that is not your bitch. You go. So the first song we started with today was Code Blue Keys from, of course, Mr. Synthetic's Serum Volume Collection 2. Uh, <laughs> um. What key is it? What key is it, bro? All right, literally look, wow, look at this. Whoa, they're chords. And then look at this, look at this, look at this. Whoa, shit. Bro, like I'm literally a fucking mastermind. Um, after that, what did I do? Probably came in here and did some dumb sh course. EQ the hoe. Bow, low end, high end. It's gone. Get rid of it. Get rid of all of it because you don't fucking need that. After the EQ, I added this RC20. I just wanted it to feel old school. I wanted it to feel like you was just rolling around in the Model T with the blender bus in your lap. Me and my lads, we've got the Nina Ross at all times. I've got a load of blokes in the back. Anyway, so I added RC20, put it on the vinyl three preset, and then I just turned this digital sound on just to make it sound like you know I don't know yeah I'm gonna take my pants off the next time we came into Omnisphere because little lads like lo-fi after that sound, we just added an EQ. Of course, the same thing as fucking always. I need to add this compressor. I need to add saturation. Shut the fuck up, bro. Just add some EQ, all right? After the EQ, I added some... After the EQ, I added some reverb just to make it sound a little bit more spacey, a little bit more atmospheric, you feel me? Because, like, I don't want my sound to be like this. I need my sound to be like this. After the reverb, bow. Fuck you, me. Fuck you talking about. Pan man. 70% mix, 75% smooth. Here's what those first two melodies sound like. The next sound we picked was Noisy Neo Soul. What the f do y'all think I be doing with these sounds? Like, I don't know where the f these sounds come from. I don't know why the f you think I know what I'm doing. After I chose that sound, I added this super complicated EQ. Just, just ridiculously complicated. After I added the EQ, came into Shaper Box. If you really think about it, like, God was put this here for us to use. It's a plant, bro. Like, it's a plant. Why would I not use it, you f Hold up. Let me just itch my knee real quick. After I added Shaper Box 2, I added Filter Freak. All I did was I came in here, I turned the frequency down to where I wanted it to be at, and then I added the Tempo Sync MIDI section just because I wanted it to sync up with my, you know? It just kind of makes this whooshing effect to the sound. I don't give a f what you guys say, cause like, really I'm a G, and you a P, but you not pushing it, you feel me? Huh, <laughs> pussy. That's called mother Fucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. Here's what those first three melodies sound like together. Next sound I added was this synth from Shark Boy. Metal one shot, kid. Just use the sound, nigga. Just tell me what you did to the sound, nigga, please. All right, whatever, nigga. I beat your ass. What's up? Like, <laughs> what's up, man? Um. After I chose that sound, I came in here and I EQ'd it again. And wow, would you fucking look at that. Another compli super complex, super in-depth EQ. Nobody can do this. I would just, you know, get your hours up because this obviously takes a lot of ear training. After the EQ, I just came in and I added the vinyl three preset. I turned the noise off because the other one had the noise on and I didn't need double noise. Cause if you have double noise, then your beat just got double noise in it. Came in here and messed with the digital just to make it sound like it came from a VHS player. Here's what those four melodies sound like together. The 
the final sound of the melody, I came in and I chose this Zen texture from this from the from the Suki drum kit. All I did was I turned it up eight semitones, just because I really felt like that was the exact frequency that belonged in the beat. Like you really have to know the frequencies to really. First effect I added to the texture was just this EQ to take out the lows and take out the highs. Then I added this effect rack, just added the liquid vibe preset in the modulation section. After effect rack, I just added Valhalla Vintage Verb, I put it on the ambience preset, I turned the mix down to 22, and I put the decay on 3.3 seconds. I just added this reverb because you know the sound just really needed the fucking like, yeah. Here's what the whole finished melody sounds like. to the drums. First thing I added was this Swank 808. I say this in every video, it's from the 300 IT drum kit. If you don't have it yet, boy, you broke as f All I did to the 808 was added this EQ and took out some of the highs just because, you know, they were a little bit too aggressive for my liking. After that 808, I just added this simple rat kit. After the kick, I just added this Twat Snare 5 from the Ghost Drum Kit. How you gonna have an Icy Twat beat without Icy Twat sound? Go give him all your money and buy his drum kit, and then you can make Icy Twat beats for free yeah. for $30, but you feel me. After that snare, I layered it with this 808 Mafia snare. I just added a little EQ to it just to take out some of the high end because I still wanted it to sound kinda, you know, just like retro, like dirty, you feel me? We not fucking Swiffer for Breeze. We one ply toilet paper, half a roll left. After the snares, I added this twat hi-hat one, also from the ghost drum kit. All I did to this hi-hat was I added this little reverse section to the hi-hat so that it just like, After the hi-hats, I added this plug snare. After the plug snare, I added my secret sauce, the reverse hi-hat. The final sound that I added to the melody was just this tire screeching sound that I sound on YouTube. <laughs> that is it for the tutorial. That is how you make an icy twat beat. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, then tell me that I fucking suck and tell me where your address is so I can just come and beat your ass, nigga, because I really don't give a f And make sure y'all go check out Icy Twice's newest album, City. That shit is dumb fire. If you don't, you a bitch. And your mama ho. So I would recommend listening to it. Otherwise, all that bad shit go. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. You go. Everywhere I look, it's a shorty with ass.